Hi, this is Ash from Hidden Sun Games. Hope everyone's doing well. Today, we're going to be taking a look um, at the rules, followed by a review of the card game called Exploding Kittens. Now, for those of you that don't know, Exploding Kittens, the card game, was actually funded via a Kickstarter. Really interesting story, so have a Google about that. Um, I am aware there is a family-friendly deck, um, but this one is the adult version, the uh, NSFW deck. Um, so this one is a bit rude, so I should warn you that uh, when we kind of delve in, there's going to be some graphic imagery. So for those of you with young kids, they might not want to watch this video, but for those of you adults, you're going to be really interested in what I have to say about this. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is Exploding Kittens, a bit more of a close-up of this box here. Um, and like I said, this is the adult version. There is a family-friendly version available, but parents, if you've got young kids around, you can probably guess by <laughs> the cover of this box the way this is going to go. So um, you might not want to let them watch this. Um, let's have a look inside. Uh, this game, by the way, is for two to five players. Um, what you get is you get this, a nice, colourful... Um, well displayed rule book. Let's open this up for you. So everything is, uh, is very kind of tidily set up, all in steps, breaks it down, taking your turn. Um, what the different kind of icons mean, the different types of card, we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, and then of course you get the cards themselves. You get 56 of these cards. Let's, um, let's have a look at these. So. What you get is, you get four Exploding Kitten cards. Now these are the cards that you don't want to be drawing when you, um, when you are playing this. So uh, there's that, this one was upside down, let me show you that again. So these are the cards that you're trying to avoid, okay? So four Exploding Kitten cards. You also get these Defuse cards. Now the Defuse cards basically give you another life. And the good thing is, everyone starts with one defuse card. It's up to you if you want to put any more defuse cards into the draw deck. That's how this game works. There's a draw deck. So uh, sometimes I'll put just one other defuse card in. Sometimes I'll put them all in. It depends really how I'm feeling. Um, it depends how many players that I'm playing with. And it's the same with the exploding kitten cards. You could just put one exploding kitten card in, or you could put all four of them in. You know, Tr um, My advice is to try all the, the different ways you can, because it does make the game change um, very, very drastically. Um, but uh, yeah, so these are the rest of your cards. Now this is your draw deck. This is the deck that um, uh, everyone will take one card from at the end of your go. So it's not at the start of your go, it's at the end. Um, and what you do, everyone starts with five of these cards. These are shuffled before the, the uh, Exploding Kitten cards and the Defuse cards are put in. So we give these a shuffle, we give everyone five cards, um, and then we put uh, the number of Defuse and the number of Exploding Kit cards you want to play into the deck. Um, and let's have a look about uh, some of these cards. So as I said, you've got an icon um, at the top here. The instructions explain that, but basically the icon dictates what the card is. Um, you get a little funny uh, funny story at the top here, release the torture bunnies. Um, but this attack card basically forces um, your opponent to take two turns. Um, a skip card, here we go, Let's, what does this say? Play a game of whale boner tetherball. <laughs> Very nice. Um, what this card lets you do is skip a go. Um, then you've got these types of cards. Now, um, these cards don't have any kind of um, description text at the top. They just have more or less a, a name of what it is. And these come in pairs. Now, if you get two pairs, you can play them down uh, and then you get to take one of your um, opponent's cards. Um, you've got this favor card, which basically um, is to take one of your opponent's cards. What does it say at the top? Fall so deeply in love, it gives you both crazy diarrhea. Lovely. Um, there's another card that, that somewhere in this deck there'll be a pair for, you can tell, just because it has um, just the name of the card at the top, no, no text. Um, this is a really handy one, a See the Future card. And what this allows you to do is privately view the top three cards of the deck. So if, for example, you did have a sneaky look at the top three and there was maybe an exploding kitten card or a defuse card, 
Um, you could then maybe play uh, uh, another card after that, because that's the cool thing about this game. You can play more than one card um, to either stop you getting a kitten card, maybe force your opponent to get that, or make sure that you, um, I don't know, get the defuse card maybe on the on the next round. Um, and that is essentially how the game works. And these cards are pretty uh, pretty graphic. As I've already said, they are really, really funny though. There's the, <laughs> look at this, uh, whip out your rubber dick collection. Very nice. So as I say, everyone starts with five cards. These are all shuffled. And once everyone has their five cards, the defuse cards and the uh, exploding kitten cards are put into this deck. So let's just pretend I've done that. We'll move those out, pretend they're in there. Um, everyone plays uh, as many cards as they want. Um, and then at the end of their go, they take one card. Now, we don't know what this is. They take it. Um, it could be a really useful card like this or it could be an exploding kitten card, in which case they have to announce it, and basically they are either out of the game, or if they have a defuse card, which, as I say, everyone starts off with one of these, um, they get to come back into the game and, and carry on. Um, nine times out of ten, uh, it will end up with you and one other player, and this deck will probably be looking like this at the end, so the, uh, the suspense will be high. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's um, go through uh, what I thought of this game with a review. So what are my thoughts on Exploding Kittens? Well, I'll be honest with you, from the moment this was delivered through my door, I knew I was going to enjoy this game. You know, everyone likes a bit of uh, dark and, and silly humour, and, and this is no different. And I, I knew from the box this was going to be just like that. When I opened the box and I started going through the cards, I found them funny, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're definitely, some of them do cross a line. Um, you know, you need to have a sense of humour for this game. If you're, if, if you're not that way inclined, simply get the family friendly version, you know, that's fine. That's fine to play with kids, but this is definitely aimed more to the adults. Um, I love the artwork on the cards. Uh, you know, uh, this one here makes me laugh. It, um, you know, the, uh, the smoke some crap with a baby owl. Does that make, se make sense? No, of course it doesn't. Um, let's smoke this rock. You know, this uh, things like that. You see cards like that, you, you can't help but, just, you know, just find them a bit amusing. So, yeah, the, the way the cards look, great. The rules, you know, I like this uh, this little kind of detailed rule book that we've looked at. Um, and, you know, it goes into nice, nice detail on the things. It's displayed really, really well, I think. It's colourful, it's eye-catching, um, just like the cards. Uh, but, you know, games can look great, but they can play appalling. So how does this play? Well... Let me summarise this. It is a really, really simple, simple game to play. The pick up and play value is very, very quick and easy. I've played this game with my lad friends, you know, so this humour has gone down really well. I've played this with my girlfriend. She's enjoyed it. I've even played this with my mum. Now, <laughs> you have to have a very cool mum to play a game like this, the adult version, with her. Thankfully, my mum is very cool and she found it funny as well. So yeah, the pick up and play value is, is great for everyone. Really quick to learn. Instantly, I would say, you can explain the rules in, in under a minute. It is that, that simple. Um, and yeah, it's a simple, simple game. For those of you that are familiar with the game Uno, it's, you know, it's just like that. You don't want to draw an exploding kitten card. Now, there's a bit of a 50-50 split between strategy and chance. Normally, I am not really a fan of games that rely on chance. It kind of takes away, I don't know, the skill element in it. But um, this, is, this is kind of a 50-50 split, so I like that. Of course, you know, you don't know what card is going to be next when you draw it. It could be an exploding kitten card. It might not be. That's, that's just chance. That's just luck. But if you have the right cards in your deck, then you can strategically skip a go, make the next player take two turns. If you think or if you know that the exploding kitten is going to be in the next card or maybe the card after that, you know, you can you can shuffle the deck, you know, get away from, from drawing it. Um, that element is great. Of course, you need the right cards in your deck. You don't always have them, so it is a lot of uh, chance and luck. But when you do, you can make sure that, you know, your opponents, uh, your next player or even the player after that, end up drawing that exploding kitten card. And when that happens, you know, when you set up that kind of uh, rally for them to, to draw the card, it is very, very satisfying. So the summary on this, really quick, simple, easy to pick up game. I'm sure the family friendly game is, is, um, is great looking. The rules, of course, are gonna be um, identical. There are special combos 
that the rule uh, leaflet um, goes over that you can add. So you can add those at a later date once you're familiar with the main rules and you can make things a bit more interesting. And do you know what? You can even create your own rules. Um, this is one of those games where there is a lot of freedom. Be creative, be imaginative. Um, yeah. So uh, to summarize, you know, um, quick, easy, super fun. I like it a lot. Of, of course, this game is going to be a big hit and I recommend you get it.